Hey guys, JH, welcome to Practice Tea. Okay, today I want to do uh, a follow up on that video I did yesterday about the about the misinformation or the misunderstanding of the release of the club going towards the target but the arms going out there. <clears throat> when I looked at the video it didn't show well enough what I really what really happens. And what really happens guys is this that the club goes that way but the club I, I mean the arms go that way but the club goes that way as if we had the arm coming out here and then the and then the hand just flicks sideways see how that ball went that way that's your club face the arms go out here on the shoulder line here the club face does that way goes that way <clears throat> the arm swing there club face releases there it releases past this you don't release the club <clears throat> and your body and your arms towards the target you don't do any of that the only thing goes towards the target is the face of the club and it, and it does that because that wrist does that past that forearm here that's our slap release guys when I saw it on the video it just didn't look anything like I was I was trying to get across it didn't look anything like it so the arms go out here here and the hand just does that that's that hand is the club face <clears throat> goes here yeah, we don't want to go out here and then get the club, get us and the club going towards the target. The only thing going towards the target is the club face. And if this was a fixed hinge here, it's that. As a feeling. It doesn't do that, guys, but that's the feeling. If you get that feeling early in the downswing, like feeling it here, after you've started your downswing, you get it there, you'll get the perfect line of impact, plus you'll get the velocity into the impact that would be required to get the club firing left like that haven't hit a shot but that's the good thing about channel lock guys you don't have to hit shots first shot of the day just killed it absolutely killed it first shot of the day okay a bit scratchy the swing but man that was modeling. Open now, guys. The other thing, <clears throat> when I'm advocating the open stance, I'm open, advocating the open stance for JH, not for you guys. Anybody that, that, that's evolved to square here and is getting enough torque in their backswing uh, to play with a square or a closed stance, go ahead and do it, guys. You have to do what I'm doing. It's just that I'm fairly flexible in the midriff, believe it or not, even at my age. And I'm strong in there. So I, I, I actually need, I need some torque on my midriff. So that's why I have to open up here. I have to do that. Okay, here we go. You don't get any better than that, guys. Okay, that's a very quick swing because I've had a very quick day. Everything today's been on the rev limiter. Okay, I'll try and put the ready code in this. But guys, arms are going here, club face is going here. Arms are going here, club face is going there. As a feeling. Here I am, facing the target. Step away. Back cock. Guys, this is five iron. That's gone three iron distance. Okay, the ball's jumping out this grass because we're having the cow paddock. But man, that's got some hoot on it. That's got a lot of power. And I feel a lot of power in the swing because I'm getting this. I'm getting the slap release. I mean, that is extraordinarily powerful. Very powerful. 
that's gone a long way. Now you don't want a 5 on as far as 300, but I'm just saying that I would adjust my distances. If I can get my speed up 5 mile an hour with the irons, that's huge. And that'll mean another iron I can drop back. Or maybe one and a half. And that would equate to 25 yards with a driver. Okay, here we are, fast facing the target. We're going to step away, we're going to back cock. They're ballistic shots, guys. They're just absolutely ballistic. Now, the other thing for me, guys, for, for JH, but you can apply it if you want to, if it works for you. I do not swing very well with channel lock with my arms extended, but that's JH. I get tremendous, tremendous push down and the right fold at the right time by having been connected here. And if I can have that feeling, with every club from the wedge right through to the driver, it's 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 a basically an automatic format in the setup. So it's here, guys. I push it down, <clears throat> face the target. See, I get it here. I get connected here. Step away. Square up the trail foot, back cock. Now I'm swinging fast, and there's no. There's no ready code in that, but they're just fantastic shots. <clears throat> All right, I'll just slow down. I'll slow down a touch and see if I can put the ready code in that with the slap release. The slap release, guys, when I really concentrate on, big power. I told you I've gone stronger with my grip. Got the thumb very much on the side of the shaft now. <clears throat> just a little evolvement evolutionary things guys they're not major changes they're just things i'm i'm putting into my swing to suit me and you can do it if you want to but if you, what you've got is okay don't change anything okay okay slow it down james step away square up the trail foot back cock Everything's good there, <clears throat> except the ready coat. Because I was going to come down here and do this. So we've got some rain coming in here, so I, I want to come down and get it done quick. So that's why I'm quick and I'm hyper. Okay, come on, James. Step away. Back cock. Okay, let's just review. <clears throat> arms go out, close shoulders. The arms go out to the to the ball. They keep going, but the club face releases here. Feel that you've got a, a ball on the face of the club and you're trying to flick it sideways. You won't do that, but that's the feeling you want. You want the club releasing there, past the closed shoulder line, here. That's what you want to feel. I feel it releases there. Arms go there, but club releases there. Okay, guys, I just wanted to get that across today. Because uh, it, it clearly wasn't evident in yesterday's uh, presentation. Okay, guys, a bit of rain coming in. And someone's asked about uh, downrange shots so we can see the ball flight. Guys, you can see here, like, this is basically what we get here. We get a lot of cloud and the sun is always in the wrong place for us where I do the videos. I need to be hitting that way <laughs> and I can't hit that way because it's off the property. So, But we always have to hit this way or that way and the sun is not in the right position to get ball flight for us here. We'll try and change that around going forward. Um, but we would have to hit the balls off the property here and then go and collect them. We may do that one day to get some ball flight. Okay guys, just an explanation on why we're not showing ball flight downrange. Very hard here. Okay, plane's coming so it's time to go.